Hey guys, what's going on? A happy Thursday morning. So very late in the afternoon yesterday, I did buy some more Tattoo Chef. <clears throat> so as I said in my previous videos, I do make videos on whenever I buy stock, how much I buy, why I bought, where I think my, you know, where I think the market's going and all that. Before I get into it, make sure you like and subscribe, like and subscribe, hit the button down there. It literally takes one second, much appreciated. Trying to get to 500 subs, I guess by the end of next month, cause uh, doesn't look good for this month. So if you could just hit the subscribe button, it's much appreciated. So Tattoo Chef, ticker is TTCF. I love this stock. I'm super bullish on it in the future. I am a long-term investor. If you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, this is obviously a growth stock. I think there's massive, massive uh, TAM for this company in the next couple years. It's it's just a really, 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 really solid company. So if you don't know what Tattoo Chef is, it's it's a vegan slash plant based product that's in the frozen section. As of right now, they're expanding to major uh, wholesale uh, food markets like uh, Walmart, Target, Costco, Sam's Club, all those guys. They will be in every Target soon, if not now, at least one SKU number. Last weekend, I made a video that I actually went to my local Costco. It actually was in there. So I picked up, a, I picked up a, my first Tattoo Chef uh, box. It was the Ahi Bowl. I think it's the, popular, the most popular seller. I haven't yet tried it, but I might do a review on it or something like that, if that interests you guys. So, you know, I bought again. Here's... You know, this is obviously the title. I bought it again. So I've bought in this stock, gosh, over the past like three to four months, I've probably bought it eight separate times since then and now. So what I like doing is I like driving my cost base down. So whenever I see it at a good deal or a good evaluation or at a massive dip, like today, I'm definitely gonna jump on it and, and, and average, cost, average cost my uh, position down. So what I bought at today, I bought at $19.83. So if I held a little later to the back end of that, I could have got a little bit better of a deal. I think it's like the low 19s at close, but I was super happy seeing it in the 19s again. After the last like two weeks, the market's kind of been staggering slowly back up after the, that little minor dip a couple weeks ago. So I just wanted to get a position in case it started like running back up again, which it might do this week. I don't think it will. I think this time we're going to see some resistance and it's going to fall. The, the NASDAQ's really going to dip, I think, starting now. <coughs> Excuse me. I made a video actually yesterday or the day prior saying don't let the market basically fool you. I still think it's going to go down and, you know, just happens to be the next day when I made that video right now. Guess what? It's going down and I had a massive correction today. How much I put into my position. So I don't like saying dollar amounts just because everyone's at a different financial situation with stocks. So, so if someone has $100,000, they might put you know 5,000 in right now to average cost down, where someone has $1,000, they might only put 20 or 30 or $40 in. So it really varies based on what, you know, how much money you have. So I like doing percentages because everyone can relate to it. I put 5% more into Tattoo Chef, which is a very, 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 very small amount. The reason I did that was because I haven't bought a stock in over two weeks. I wanted to get on this little dip in case it goes back up. However, I still want to be prepared if it corrects down more, which I think it will over the next couple of weeks and months. But if it doesn't, you know, at least I added a little more to my position under 20, which I love. My cost base, which I actually didn't put, I believe it's like 2167, it was before this. So it'll probably be down to like, when it updates tomorrow, it'll probably be like 21, I don't know, probably not much, cause I only had a 5%, but like 21.50. So I am driving it down, which is great. So the past couple, like a couple weeks ago, when it really went down, I was buying in the 18s and like low 19s, like super low. So I was adding, I think, eight to 10% when I did those videos. So this is less just because it's obviously a higher price, but still below my cost base, which I like. So that's why I did it. NASDAQ dropped 2% at close today, or yesterday, excuse me. So that's, that's a big drop. If you're not familiar with how big that is on really high growth stocks or growth stocks in general, whatever this number is when it closes or whatever it is at the end of the day, up or down, 
You want to probably like 2x to 4x to, wow, to 4x that number. So basically, if it dropped 2% the NASDAQ today, you could probably expect stocks like these to drop anywhere, you know, 4 to 8% in a day like this. So you definitely want to take advantage of that, in my opinion. So yeah, that's why I had to do it. I haven't bought in a while. I was getting a little antsy. So, and then I was also building my cash position. So I'm cash heavy right now. A couple weeks ago, like I said, my previous videos, I went down to 28% cash. Uh, then I went back up to 30. And now I'm still at 30, but just because I only added 5%, like that's not a lot. So I'm still at 30, but I just, again, wanted to jump on that. So my thoughts on the market right now, as I said in yesterday's video and a couple of videos prior about the market correcting and the Fed's saying all that stuff last week about how inflation is only going to be 2%. They don't see this. They don't see the rate, the cost of goods. Rather. Just a bunch of gibberish in my opinion. So I just think they're not trying to scare people out of the market and have mass panic and then have the market like really crash and then it's going to cause panic and this and that. So I think they're trying to fool some people or just like you just they want you to read, you know, what they say and, and, and that's that and then you believe everything they say. So I still think the market has a lot to correct. Honestly, in the next couple months, we'll see if I'm right, but I think the NASDAQ could go, you know, drop 2% today. I could see it dropping anywhere from 10 to 20%. So if you do this logic, you know, with with you know 10 to 20 percent i mean you can see some growth stocks especially uh fall a lot like 40 30 uh maybe even 50 percent so that shouldn't scare you i mean if you're a long-term investor and you have cash on the sideline you should really look at it as buying opportunities because it will recover it will bounce back if the valuations make sense when you were buying it originally like you know i was buying tattoo chef originally i think at like 24 25 dollars so like if I'm getting it at 18, 18, 19, 20 dollars a share, like why wouldn't I buy it? That's a great deal. And it's, you know, you're you're buying it at a huge discount for where you liked it before. So that's kind of the mindset you need when you buy stocks or as a long-term investor. Now, if you do options, if you're on margin or you're like a day trader, I don't really know what to tell you. That's not my style. I'd be very scared if I was doing any of those things. I don't do any margin trading. I, you know, I only I only work with what I have. So I don't want to ever put myself in that situation where I have to sell stocks and then I go upside down, then backtrack. It would just get me really frustrated because, you know, I work hard for my money. I have a day job and I'm not trying to margin it to get rich quicker. I'll, I'll do it the slow and steady way. And I feel like that's the best way to gain wealth. So that's all I got. Again, I want to get the 500 subs by the end of next month, I guess, hopefully. So if you could just smash that like button and subscribe button. Much appreciated. Peace.